Coming up on the Lakeside Loop, a Lakeside Bowler goes to state, and the FFA raises money for those in need. The Loop starts now. Welcome to the Lakeside Loop. I'm Brock Schneider. Thanks for joining for our pilot episode. Athletics at Lakeside enjoy great success, and this year is no exception, with three teams going to state. Jacob Greedel has a story. The girls' volleyball team played a great season with a smashing 12-5 record. They brought home state runner-ups with Peyton Keepers named to the All-State first team, Kylie Nabasik selected to the All-State second team, and Ella DeNoyer as an All-State honorable mention. Abigail Minning, Cam Wyland, and Paige Cron represented the cross-country team at state. Yet, you may not be aware of the achievements of the bowling team. Connor Slattery, a senior at Lakeside, will make the trip to state this weekend. He's the first Lakeside student to make it to the state tournament from the bowling team in only its second year. The team has formed a tight bond together and has made tremendous strides since their first season. I think a lot of our players have done a lot better than they were at the beginning of the year. Um, We've done a lot better in all the matches, and as a team overall, we did significantly better towards the end of the season than we did at the beginning. I think it's pretty awesome. I mean, I've, I feel like people could look back in the yearbook and be like, that's the first guy that went to state. My name's going to stick around Lakeside as the first kid that went to state, so I think it's going to be pretty cool. I think in the next probably four years, I think we will have a chance of sending somebody there every single year for state. Um, the kids on the team, they all have very good potential, and I think with the right coaching, they will have a very good shot. Last week was dedicated to future Farmers of America all over the country. They had many special dress-up days and games to play. They even had a donation of families in need. They were able to surpass their goal of $500 and collected $1,100. After the money was raised, selected teachers, Mr. Rosenell, Mr. Jans, Mr. Kerber, Mr. During, Mrs. Tetzloff, and Mr. Meske performed the chicken dance. It was a successful week for FFA, and we asked Mr. Meske for his thoughts. Uh, this year with National FFA Week, it's been an absolute blessing to have students donate in homerooms uh, along with faculty uh, make donations. This year, three families from St. Mark's Watertown and St. John's Jefferson and Juneau, uh, the three families will receive the funds that pastors have designated. The, the best part uh, as an ag teacher and helping out as an FFA advisor is seeing the kids come up with neat I ideas and then sharing that with students, whether it's before school activities or some uh, crazy dress up days and teachers inv being involved. Uh, you know, I had to YouTube it this morning to figure out how to do the dance again, but uh, you know, I didn't do yoga this morning, but uh, it's fun to see Mr. Kerber out there show his moves and, and being with the group, it's really a fun day uh, to do it before the students. The money went to St. John's Juno, St. John's Jefferson, and St. Mark's Watertown. Thank you for tuning in for the pilot episode of The Lakeside Loop. If you are interested in helping with the show as a reporter, anchor, or editor, please talk to Mr. Hackbarth, Brock, or myself, and let us know if you have any story ideas. Don't forget to tune into the live stream of Connor Slattery on BowlStreamTV.com. And now, you're in the loop. See you next week. For Brock Schneider, I'm Jacob Greedle.